welcome to Bone Reaper Journal number two. Uh, we're gonna paint this Mortite Gar here. It's gonna get messy, it's gonna get wet, it's gonna be great. I recently got Vallejo paint and I've got a wet palette as well. So I'm just setting that up, making this bad boy nice and wet, ready to go. And to be clear, this is supposed to be a test model. So I'm gonna be trying out a diff different paint schemes, different techniques. Hopefully it will go somewhere, but I'm using a lot of time and energy to just experiment. So don't expect something that's really clean or straightforward. I'm going to do a lot of back and forths and mistakes. Alright, the Bony Boys are primed, now we can get painting. I'm not going to lie, coming from Citadel, the drop bottles from Vallejo are revolutionary. Uh, I'm never going back. Now I'm just glazing on a base coat using glazes. Or at least I hope I'm using glazes properly. Yeah, surprise, I'm not a master painter or anything. You know, disclaimer. Now this is where I mess up. I added yellow to blue, expecting purple, but it's green. I mean, obviously, but I guess I was really tired. And then I mess up further by thinking that red and yellow is purple, even though that's clearly not the case. Finally, I realized that red and blue is what makes purple, thankfully. I saved the day. It's all good. I redeemed myself. Carry on. Here I'm just glazing purple over the lower half of the body and parts of the shield. I glaze part of the miniatures that are a bone color using Vallejo Bone White. The shield is connected with blue tag, I haven't glued it on yet, so I can paint the insides. So I'm using my hand to hold it sometimes to keep it stable while I'm painting. While I intended to glaze for the pauldrons, I think what I'm actually doing here is layering. It's a bit thicker than a real glaze, but on the live pauldron, you can see how the blue underneath still comes across, so that would be more of a glaze. Using a cheap dollar store brush, makeup brush, to do some uh, dry brushing to bring out more of the details on all the raised surfaces and edges. Just painting on more details here. The, there's a lot of bone and uh, additional details that deserves to be in white so that uh, there's more contrast and it shows, shows up better. Like just look at how much of a difference that makes. This is why I messed up again, but in all fairness, I was trying to experiment. So I applied some uh, contrast paint over the white areas on the model. It has a nice glowy ghost effect, but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. So I used purple to cover that back up again, and now I have to kind of repeat my previous process. Here I did the same thing using uh, Nihon Nightshade. Yeah, that wasn't smart, so I had to go back and kind of fix it.
At this point, I'm just really experimenting, see what colors go well together, what glazes work, what doesn't, what effect it has, what it evokes. Uh, you know, when I see this model, what feelings does it evoke, what atmosphere does it generate. It's not an exact science because I'm not experienced enough to know what to do right off the bat. Putting some white on the edges of certain details to really bring them out. Edge highlights as well. I mix purple with white to create a lighter shade of purple and then I apply those to the areas where the light will hit and reflect off the model. I'm just quickly painting the eyes here with dots of white. Spooky but cute. Start to apply some color to the base and then a dry brush with white. So make sure there's highlight that when I place on top it will come across and show through as brighter areas. Applying some OSL or object source lighting, reflecting parts of the base, the environment onto parts of the leg and the face. Or it could just be uh, sand from the deserts, you know, I'm not sure, I'm just playing around with ideas here. Applying some white on the sword, which I will then glaze over. Uh, this is supposed to be reflection. It's supposed to show like a metallic reflection to the sword. It's, it's not as actually uh, non-metallic metal, but it's like an amateurish attempt at it. I don't know. I'm trying my best here. As you can see, this is a process that involved lots of trial and error due to my inexperience. But we're getting there. You know, I have some reflective elements at the bottom and the top on the edges. And the colors look nice. Finally painting the inside of the shield. Just applying some blue. White. Now, finally, time to goo this bit. I mean, bony boy. Cracking open a pot of nun oil to get some recesses, get some shadows into the recesses of the nun oil. It makes it like a thousand times better because there's more contrast. I'm also separating different aspects of the miniature from each other by using the recesses. I'm painting to separate plates from other plates and pauldrons from the rest of the body and spinal columns from 
from each other it just makes the miniature more readable when you uh, have lines separating aspects from each other getting those bone cracks filled in with nun oil just let it suck it in this is what Nagash made them for by the way you know their bones that suck in nun oil this is their true purpose and not collecting the bone type yeah this is actually in the lore check it out totally getting some brass scorpion to paint in the metallic parts of the shield and just a reminder that you're not supposed to put metallic paint in your wet palette so I avoided doing that because reasons I'm not sure why probably a zombie apocalypse so yeah don't do it dry brushing with white paint actual white paint not bone white but this white paint is made from grandma's bones so I guess it's still bone dry brush to highlight the areas bring out the details again top of the head pauldron top of the shield edge of the sword and this is pretty much done now it looks pretty good but of course I can't control myself and stop fiddling so after the camera stopped rolling I kind of went back with Ryza Rust and dust everything up a bit and I added a blue highlight on the face and on the sword just a splotch of paint to really bring uh, the attention to those areas this is a test model and I'm not sure if I would actually use this theme for the rest of my army. I might experiment more with the more of my Mortai guards and see what I come up with. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned lots as I did while I was painting this. Please like and subscribe. Adios.